finding BC30 and um, learning more about how we can incorporate it into our menu innovation, as well as our frozen yogurt, um, was uh, kind of a light bulb that went off in our heads. Uh, we said, well, if we can add it to frozen yogurt and make frozen yogurt, which is already healthy, healthier, why not add that to our smoothies, uh, which is a natural extension. So we offered probiotic smoothies, which our consumers loved. Not just any probiotic smoothies, but ones that had uh, BC30, a strain um, that actually had science behind it. Um, and then we kind of went, pushed the envelope even further and went down the path of all beverages. Why can't we just add BC32 to other beverages that we do? So we added it to our iced teas um, and became the first uh, retailer in the U.S. to offer probiotic iced teas. Um, so it's the survivability of the, of, of, the, of the probiotic and how easy it is to work with and how um, flexible it is in terms of working in different conditions that has really opened our think tank to what we can do with it. Um, so, you know, it's just, the opportunities are endless. I, I think it's just a matter of us um, agreeing upon what we want to do in terms of a menu and seeing how BC30 can fit.